Hello, everyone. Uh, in this short video, uh, we're going to create a single queue for multiple servers in Simio. Uh, this situation may arise in many cases. Uh, let's say I have uh, you know, three or four, you know, however many parallel servers, uh, but there's a single line uh, for all those servers. So everyone gets in a single line, and which one ever becomes free, uh, the the person or the person or whatever entity you're looking at goes to that first available server. Um, how do you create that system in Simio? Okay, so that's graphically. How do we? Uh, how can we create a single cube of multiple server? Uh, here's an example. So again, there's, I have three servers, and I want a single line that feeds into all three of the servers. Right now, you know, if you're already familiar with Simio, there's an input buffer each one of these servers. I don't want any model entities or any customers or whatever I'm representing to be sitting inside and waiting inside those input buffers of that servers. I want a single queue. Okay, so I'm going to accomplish that. It's a very simple way to do it. Uh, I'll just kind of build it with you on Simio. Okay, so I'm going to hop over to Simio and finish this out. So one way to accomplish uh, this task is by uh, creating a single uh, point where your model entities can line up. Okay. Right now I have a source that's gonna come out and you know you, you can connect the path to each one of these server input server, uh, input node of each of the servers separately. Uh, but then that then you're basically having a separate line for each server, right? So Rather than doing that, I'm going to create a transfer node and put it over here. And basically, this will be the front of the line that feeds into each one of these servers. Okay. So I'm going to then connect the paths. So I'm going to go from the source to transfer node one, then transfer node to server one, then transfer node to server two. Oops. And then from the transfer node to server three. Okay. So I have this transfer node and it's feeding into all three of the servers, okay? So essentially this is the front of my line, right? And I wanna make sure there's nobody lining up each one of these servers separately. There's one line and uh, whichever becomes free, it's gonna go into one of those servers, whichever becomes free first, okay? Uh, the first thing I wanna do is get rid of the, the input buffer capacity each one of the servers. So if you click on server one under uh, buffer logic, you see the input buffer, right? Capacity infinity. That means this server right now, infinite number of monitors is gonna be sitting here waiting for the server to free up. We don't want this to be true, right? We want this, we don't want any monitors to wait here, okay? So we actually have to uh, set these values to zero, okay? Uh, before I do that, let me kind of explain why that's important first. And then once you click on transfer mode, this will make sense. Um, you see this app on, um, uh, we, we got to first create, let's create a list, uh, give some options to where uh, your monitor can transfer to, and then um, create, use that node list to uh, um, tell Simio how to route the entities. And then you'll see this buffer logic issue coming up. Okay, let's change this outbound travel mode to rather than doing continue, uh, um, rather than doing continue free space on network, leave it at continue, but then let's, um, let's change the uh, link preference, um, not any, let's set to available, okay? So, uh, and this is where the buffer logic will come in. Uh, so you kind of read it here, the preference used by trial logic, uh, if the preference is available, then the specified app on link rule will be automatically adjusted to minimize waiting time by first applying a little only to outbound links are immediately available entry. Okay, um, you can kind of read the rest there. Um, so the reason why you want to say available here, okay, it's going to treat the capacity at the server based on the processing capacity, right? So the capacity, uh, initial capacity or the current capacity of the server and how much capacity you have at the input buffer, right? So you got to set those to zero. Okay, so again, buffer logic. I change the input buffer uh, capacity to zero. Okay, and let's do the same thing with the other servers. So I'm going to press Control, hold on to two and three, and then change the buffer logic to capacity to zero. Okay, 
So there's no, modern things cannot be waiting inside these buffers, okay? So we're gonna go into available, okay? Uh, you can leave the short operating link rule this, um, you know, unchanged. The entity descent type, we're gonna now change this um, to based on a list, okay? Uh, and it's gonna give you an error message because we don't have a no list yet. So now we're gonna go into definitions. Uh, let's go to list. I'm gonna create a node list, okay? Um, and this node list will contain the possible nodes that my monitor can travel to from the transfer node, okay? So in our case, it'll just be the input for server one, input of server two, input of server three, right? So this would be input of server one, input of server two, input of server three. So we're gonna tell Simio, use this node list to figure out uh, whichever becomes available, send your model entities to one of these three inputs. Okay, so I'm gonna use that node list one. So now you see this highlighted node, uh, node list name, there's an error, I'm gonna drop down, use node list one now. Okay, so I'm gonna use that list. Okay, um, and then one other thing I wanna do is, if you selection goal, uh, if you leave it a preferred order, what you're trying to similar to do is use this order as your preference, right? So. For example, if all three of these servers are available, then you're always gonna send to server one first. And if let's say server two and three are available, you're gonna send it to server two first, et cetera, right? In this case, you probably don't wanna do that. Um, you can if you want to, but probably just wanna be random, right? Let's say all three of them are available, then you're gonna select random because we don't really care which one it goes to when all of them are free, okay? So I'm gonna change that, log I'm gonna change that option to random, okay? Um, so, Let's try running it and see what happens. So when I run this, now you see things going one at a time, right? Okay. And you notice there's nobody, all the monitors wait at this node, okay, rather than waiting at this input buffer. Uh, one other thing I probably want to change if I want to see these monitors lined up in a single file line, okay, is I'm going to click on this path here. I'm going to change allow passing to false, okay. If I do that, then when I run this, now you see them line up in a single file like that. Okay, so this is how you create a single queue for these, for multiple servers. Okay, hopefully this is helpful in uh, as you build your own models and whatever application you're working on. Uh, thanks for watching. Take care.